hello all welcome back so in this video we are going to see how we can restart a multiple vms in a google cloud so basically i create most of my youtube videos and blog based on my own experience as a cloud architect so i faced this issue multiple times where i need to restart a multiple vms but i do not have proper access or i need to restart it using some kind of script or i need to automate a vm restart after a particular activity so it is always convenient to use either shell scripting or a python instead of doing manually from the console so in this video we'll see how we can create python script so it can be run manually or it can be used in your cloud function to schedule a restart that will be very quick so let's go to a cloud console first and i will show you the requirement here So here I have this multiple VM, so 6 VM and I need to restart all these VMs after one of the activity. So I can do it manually but mostly in production you won't have access directly. So either you need to automate it or you need to create some kind of utility or a script. So here I will explain how we can create Python script to restart a multiple VMs in a Google Cloud. I will be creating one more video where I will restart multiple VMs using shell script as well so let me go to my code first so this is my code where i am restarting multiple vm using a single script so as usual i am using a credential for a service account key let me copy this credential so i am using this google application credential using the key json file so you can refer my first video to see how i created a service account and exported key okay and i'm using this key.json file authentication so first what i am doing i am just doing i am just exporting the list of all my virtual machine from this project and from this zone so you can give multiple parameters or filter as well but i am just giving the filter for my zone so i want all virtual machine to be restarted from this us central one zone and from this project so here first i am importing or i am just listing out all the instances and storing in this variable and then i am stopping and starting this vm instance using a for loop so let me first import os because here it is giving an error import os okay and here you can see i am first stopping the instance using this for loop and then I'll starting the instance so let me execute this script now to see if it is working fine so don't worry I'll share this script separately so we'll see if we get any error okay it is running so let me verify in console so currently nothing is happening let me refresh and you will see this first vm might get a restarting okay so first vm is getting stopped now then it will go for second so it will restart first and then go for second so as we mentioned first stop and then start so currently it is stopping then it will start this and then go for, go for a next vm instance so now you could see the first vm instance is restarted and it is doing restart for second let me refresh yeah now the this instance is getting started and it will immediately go for this one this is getting stopped and after some time this will start and it will go for this one so in this way it is restarting a multiple vm using the for loop so we can mention multiple condition or filter as well if you want from specific zone or if you want the instance to be starting from the specific string then you can mention in your code so if you have specific requirement you can let me know in comment section i will find a solution for you or let you know how we can do that so now it is doing for third and you can see the logs also here getting printed okay third is started now it will go for fourth okay so in this way it will restart all virtual machine using one by one using a for loop so that's it for this video it is very small video but a very useful if you are 
working as an architect or a DevOps engineer. So you need to create sometimes a cloud function to automate few steps where you need to restart a multiple virtual machine. So that will be useful. I'll share this script in my GitHub repo. So you can take a reference from that repo if you record it. So thank you for watching this video. We'll see you again.